Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Andrew here from Posh Designs and today I'm coming at you guys with my first Mac tutorial. I usually don't do tutorials on Macintosh, um, but I'm going to start doing all my tutorials on Macintosh. So welcome to my Mac. Um, this is a 27 inch iMac that I'm working with. Um, uh, obviously the 2013 edition. So let's just hop right on in it guys. We're going to be showing you today how to work with Xcode. And Xcode is basically an application that you can use to build apps for iPhone or iPad or iPod or whatever you're using and then if you're a developer you can actually put them onto your iPhone and you can also put them on your iPod iPad you can also put them on the App Store um, so pretty cool so this is just gonna be kind of an introduction video just to kind of show you guys hey this is Xcode so if you guys don't have Xcode already you guys can actually open up your App Store and if you just kind of scroll on over here and just type in Xcode it's gonna be right there so uh, after downloading that, it's about two gigs. So just wait for it to download. Um, then you guys can start it up. So if we start up Xcode right here, and what you want to do um, is this is the beginning user face, and all you have to do is just to create a new Xcode project. You just click this little guy. Now most of you beginners are going to start off with the single view application just because that's what's going to be the easiest. Um, stick with what is the easiest um, when you first get into a program. So let's just say we want to start off with a single view program awesome so our product name is gonna be whatever so I'm just going to say this is a YouTube tutorial the organization name I said I have my organization name obviously posh designs my company identifier is my name um, and then the devices you can have universal for the iPad iPhone I'm just gonna make this one for the iPhone so we can hit next and then to save a desktop um, or a location wherever you guys want to you guys don't have to do the desktop so I'm just gonna hit create and that'll get it all started. Now, with here, we have a lot of stuff um, that we could go over. I'm not gonna go over too much in depth. I'm just gonna show you guys how to get to actually making the app um, itself. And then you guys can um, watch later on tutorials on how to actually get it to work. Um, so right here, what we have over on the left side is we have our main storyboard. Now, if we click our main storyboard, it'll take a little time for it to load up, but there it is. Um, what we can do with this main storyboard is is actually a lot of stuff, so it's it's actually pretty cool. So um, if you just click your main storyboard, as you see, it has the battery up here. It's just like an iPhone. So if we were to go to our background, let's say, say we want it to be pink. All right, cool. Or let's say we want it to just be a gray. All right, awesome. So now we have a gray background, and to get another one here, all you have to do is go over to View Controller. So right here is, um, you guys might be on the page, so just hit the 3D um, cube if you guys aren't already on it, and go to View Controller, just drag one in, and boom. Now to move these guys around, you guys are always going to want to hit this gray bar. Um, it's a key because it's, uh, you guys can't drag it um, by doing that. So And it's really hard to hit the, the blue line. So I always just say grab it by the gray bar. And then what you guys want to do is just let, let's say we want um, this background to be another darker gray. All right. Um, and then let's say we want to add one more view controller in here. Let's scroll on over. Pull by the gray. Okay. And let's say we want this one to be... Um, let's say we want this one to be like a really dark gray. All right, cool. So we have that. So now what do we do? Well, what can we do with all these view controllers? Um, so we're just going to introduce you to the button. Um, a lot of people are like, okay, so how do I get you know this screen to this screen to this screen? So what we're going to do is just scroll on down, and there's going to be a link called button. So if we just drag in the button, and we just kind of center that up, we can say, let's say, go darker okay we're just gonna have that be our first button and then we're going to also set another button on here saying even darker okay um, and with that you guys can say let's put that right back in the middle uh, along with this one okay so you guys can also change the text color by just select on those and let's say we want this one to be black and let's say we want this one to be white because um, it's going to get a little harder for it to be noticeable if we keep you actually we'll just go black that's fine um, all right so let's make that black cool all right so now we have a black one oh and this one actually didn't there we go um okay so now we have 
our two icons and right here we just want it to to just say something Let, let's just say um let's just say we want this to say now that's dark i don't know <laughs> i have no clue but um but like i said this is just for tutorials purpose um so right here we have that and let's click on that let's say we want it to be like that okay so now andrew how do we get this to go from this page to even darker to now that's dark so all you have to do is just click on your button hold down the control key and just slide on over to the page you want so i can have the go darker go all the way to the really dark page or i can have the go darker go to the even darker page and it doesn't have to go to any button it can just go to another view controller so i just want to hit that and i'm just going to say push okay and now we're going to have that and let's say i want to have this and i want this one to go to this page so let's hit control again and just like that i hit push boom okay now right here what we want to do is we want to hit our view controller and we're going to go up to editor embed in navigation controller now what a navigation uh, what the navigation controller is going to do um, is that is actually going to get rid of the um, having to make a, a separate button for each page to have to go back. Mm -hmm. So if you guys um, obviously have you know apps on your guys' phone, it always says, okay, so I'm on Facebook, I click on a photo, now I can go back. So this is what that's going to do for the navigation controllers. It's just going to allow you to go back. So it's that simple. So with that being said, now that we have this, now we can just have it go through a test run so if you come up here it says um, it's gonna look like a little play button and it's gonna just gonna build and then run your current app so if we watch here it's gonna build and here we have our app being built onto this now it just launched now we have our app so now we can either say go darker or we can go back and we can go say go darker again let's say we even want to go even darker now that's dark so that's how you guys would make a just kind of a really, really simple user interface, guys. That, that, that's pretty much the simplest of the simple when you guys are getting into Xcode. So if that did help you guys out, please give this video a big thumbs up. Like I said, this is just an introduction to Xcode, showing you guys how to use some of the basic controls. Um, so like I said, if the video did help you out, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have any feedback, please drop in the comment sections below. And if you guys aren't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post videos here regularly, so definitely check out out those other videos if you guys are interested in other graphic tutorials or speed arts or anything like that so guys until next time my name's Andrew from Posh Designs and I'm signing out